We are live. So, yo, yo, yo. We do not own the right to song. This is Beyonce, Love on Top Remix. Amy. Hey, Alexia. We got some guests and stuff. It's a takeover. Yeah. It's a takeover. Yes. Hey, yo. What's up? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Hey. Hey, folks. Takeover. Hey, folks. We here. We here. We here. It's a takeover. Hey. What's up, what's up, folks? Why are you if I let you do a watch call? Come on, come on, everybody. We just getting started. And yes. I'll let that know in mind. Oh, nice. The robber right today. I'm going to turn it all right, Christina. Hey, hi, Chanel. What's up? What's, what's up? up? What's How y'all doing? Freedom Friday. It's yeah. the takeover. Hey, Sid. Okay, all right. So, how y'all doing? What's up? How are y'all on this Friday? How? What's up? What's up? How you doing today, V? Let me start with my co-host. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Can you put us in the back? I want to be in the background for a minute. Put us backstage. backstage. Oh, you want to go back? Yeah. Okay. All right. We'll bring you out in a minute. Thank you. Oh, wait. Wrong person. Sorry. Wrong person. Wrong person. Okay. Here we go. So my week has been tried. Tried. I've been tried this week. When I say tried, I'm tried. Okay. School. Oh, no. No, no. I'm a psychology student going into her senior year. And they they just really tried me this, this week. But you know what? It's fine. I've had my edible. A few puffs of my vape. I'm good. And I'm here with you, Alexia. <laughs> you are so pretty. Thank you. So, so how was your day? It was great. It was great. No complaints. Um, really, I think this week I actually took off from one of my responsibilities, one of my jobs. So I got a chance to um, have a nice little break, have a nice little break. So I'm excited about okay. that. But I'm super okay. excited. You know, sometimes you need a mental health day. Uh, sometimes, yes. And I've had a mental health week. So it's actually been interesting mm -hmm. just narrowing down to just having like the one. The one job, or, or excuse me, not having all of them. So just focusing on maybe like two of the three things that I'm working with. So yes. that being said, um, mm -hmm. I'm excited for today because me we too. have our takeover edition. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, for those of you who are new to V and I, we have been on the show before. Mm -hmm. um, however, we are here to host and co-host today's show because we have a celebration in store. So we are so excited about the guests that we are going to bring on. That you've uh, already seen a sneak peek of. You saw a sneak peek of them. But if you weren't here early, hey, Kia Green. Hey. If, hello, hello. If you were not here early, you did not get to see um, the sneak peek. So that's on you. That's okay. Next time you got to make sure that you are on time. Okay. Exactly. Um, but for those of you who don't know me, I am Alexia. I am actually your expert in evolution from the Legacy Podcast. I'm also um, one of your founders from CocoBump.com. Um, what else do I do? I like long walks in the park. Um, I am a mother of two. Um, up on the weekends. I like to turn up a little bit on the week. Mm -hmm. See my side ponytail, y'all. If y'all don't know, like this was this was me going candy combos edition. So like when I'm legacy, my ponytail is to the back, but candy right. combos is to the side. Little razzle dazzle for everybody. Exactly. I was trying. I knew. With the, on the side I today. know. I, I know. I knew you was gonna pop on giving life, mm -hmm. literally, in the pursuit of happiness. So I said, <laughs> let me put it to the side. I know they like Lexi. Is this mm -hmm. this 
is Lexi. I got another side, an alter ego, and she goes by Lele. Okay. Ooh, so Lele. Lele. Go Lele, go. Mm, go Lele. <laughs> okay. All right. Before we get to partying, yes, okay, and get into our uh, you know, our guest edition, we want to put our disclaimers up. Disclaimer, okay, yeah. this is for all the underage kids that are not 18. Excuse yourself, parents, excuse them. Y'all going yet? Everybody going, Wait. okay. So uh, from now, rated R. Rated R, okay? Fuck them kids at this moment. I'm sorry. I just say it. Right now, <laughs> fuck them kids. So now, we're going to start our sip and sit. So go ahead, guys. So what we're going to do now, we just want to let you guys know that as we get into this conversation today, we actually have some giveaways and some gifts and things we like that. We so, definitely do. Yes, yes. So you want to make sure um, that you stay connected with us as we bring on our guest for this evening. Mm -hmm. This evening, you know them as, well, let, let me start by we know them. We know them as twin and ma. We know them as cousin and fam. Mm -hmm. We know them as business partners. And we know them as um, the light of our lives in so many different ways. But y'all, y'all probably know them as some of that too. But y'all know them as none other than T and Kia G, the original host. Mm -hmm. Of Candid Cabos. And today, y'all, guess what? We are celebrating the 20th episode. Woo, woo, woo. Woo, can y'all believe it? 20 episodes. 20 episodes. 20 episodes. So they let us come on to host tonight's show. So for those of you like, where's Tay? Where's Kia? Calm Tonight, down. We are the hostess. With Calm the down. Hostess. We're the hostess They're with coming. The and without further ado, let's welcome our guest. She's bitching. <laughs> 20. Yes. Yes. Hey, what's up, Lele? Hey. <laughs> Lele in the building. What's up, B? What's hey. up, B? Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Hey. Oh, y'all showed up. Y'all showed up. You got them disclaimers right on the money. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm dressed for the show today. What so like you, you are it. so me. You I'm are giving me life with the ponytail. Her name is Lele. Lele is giving me life with the ponytail. The red earrings just, woo! Lovely. Yeah. We are so excited for today. Ladies, congratulations on Thank you. Oh, I'm so proud of you guys. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. Man, we had no idea. Right. That when I we started that first, huh? Uh, so, so yeah, that's what I was going to say. I want to, I know you guys are 20 episodes in, but we, before we get, you know, deep into like the giveaways and things like that, we do need for you because your following has grown significantly. Yeah. Um, and so we need for the people in the back, the new people to the to the tribe. How did we get here? How did we get 20 episodes in? First, let me talk about this wonderful outfit my co-host got on. <laughs> she, she she really dressed for the occasion today. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I was tired. I had just got in from work about 5:15. And so listen, I had enough time to put a scarf on to take a shower and put on the road. But I feel fancy. Um so and that, I got dressed for y'all asses all the other 19 shows. That so. is not what you were supposed to wear. Is you said hat? you said I, take the scarf off at least. <laughs> Let me tell y'all. See, this, this this is that that's her, that's her dress scarf. Is that her dress <laughs> scarf? <laughs> but this is my dress like scarf. It's laid. Oh yeah, yeah. get into it. It's I did right. get a I did get an it's our 20th episode hairdo though. Look, I did. I, yeah. How do we get here? How did we get here? Oh wow. So how do we get here? Um, woo! Wow, we ain't okay. got that long. 
What? Yeah. Shut up. You, you ain't got that long. You shut up. You don't even have no clothes you on. So first, you can't. She, so yes, first, I can begin. One out of ten, can Kia. I can't. I can't. Put, that's put, and she you old freaky ass. Thank you. <laughs> yes, thank you, Chanel. Yes, this is that twentieth episode head, dude, baby. Get it to y'all. See the parts and that grease. Okay. <laughs> Listen, how did we? Okay, we got here by Kia having an episode in her Ooh, life wait a that wait she a wanted to share. Why did I say it's an episode? Like I had a whole a mental breakdown. Shit, it was close. She wrote a whole five page. Oh my god, I hate you. Listen, that is not, you wrote a five page poem about your episode. It was a short story. It was not a poem. Her short story about her episode <laughs> with her husband. It was not an episode. So after she wrote her poem, her book, right? It was. A she short, called me. It was from a book. Do you want to tell her? You want me to tell it? It was a short. Story. Do you want me to tell her? You want to tell it? Short story. Just like it the passenger trying to drive. drive. You see what I'm saying? She want to tell the story. She want me to tell it. You sound like. Do you want to tell it? You sound like pretty bad. Listen. So anyhow, <laughs> she called me a two. Huh? Y'all want y'all want to stay or y'all want to go? Oh, okay, okay, I'm sorry. Right. Oh, oh, we can get y'all back behavior. Oh, y'all, y'all gonna act right if I bring y'all back. If I bring y'all back, y'all gonna act right. We gonna act right. We'll act right. Damn, we got kicked at our own show. Y'all is disrespectful. Y'all see how they do? Beyonce fans would have never let that happen. Mm. That Beehive would have never let that happen. Sometimes you gotta sting them to get them, you know, in line. Okay. Come on. Thank, thank you, Anika, for your prayers for Christina. Thank you. Um. Well, the, so after she wrote, after she wrote her her poem, she called me about two o'clock in the morning, and she was like, "I want to share something with you. Can you read it?" Bam, I did. She was like, "What should I do with it?" I said, "Listen, I feel like the way you feel, a lot of women feel, and so we need to go public. We need to go live and have a conversation about it." So we did, and that was on um the Love Advocates platform, and then. After we did that three part segment, we had to come back because why? Because mm -hmm. why? Go ahead. I don't know. Keep going. Oh, okay. So we had to come back with a follow up because our husbands had shit to say <laughs> about the three part series she got that us in trouble. <laughs> so the husbands was like, we got shit to say too. So we was like, so you know what? So we brought them on. But then we came back <laughs> with a show name that actually. Alexia, Alexia gave us candid combos with T and Kia. And it was like, because you were going to be talking about some real shit. And people yeah. wanted to hear us talk about some real shit that people don't normally talk about. And so that's the candid combo part. And yeah, Thank so we've been rocking. We we take y'all ideas and mm -hmm. talk shit. You got me throwing I mean, it, it's well, that's what you do. <laughs> You're candid. They're candid Look, and they're candid. Trey, um, my brother on here watching. What's up, Trey? Short novel. <laughs> short novel. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah, short novel. <laughs> yeah before I, um, I can't, real, real quick here, I cannot comment um, in this side, but I do want to acknowledge, thank you so much, Anika, um, again, but I do want to acknowledge a very um, loyal viewer, Christina Vaughn. Um, Christina is going through, and she has been transparent about it. That's why I'm saying it. Um, yeah. She's saying that she really needs some uplifting things and laughs. She just found out today. Um, she only has seven years to live, eight if she's lucky. Um, but in this moment, in this season, we are claiming victory. Um, yeah. Hey, I, Christina, mm -hmm. listen, them doctors don't know. Yeah. Them right. doctors ain't going to give you hashtag okay, fuck cancer. cancer. There you go. Listen, you know we ain't listening to that doctor, and we're going to laugh through all of that pain. Yep. Yep. And we are That's here support you. We love you. We laugh, lift you up. We wrap yeah. our arms around you. God is covering you and he was working it out um, for your good. So we want you to know that we saw you. We hear you. We are with you. Thank you for mm -hmm. being transparent because somebody else may have something on their heart um, are struggling with and battling and, and scared of uh, quite yeah. honestly. And that's okay to be afraid because you will have victory. Um, and you right. don't have to go through this alone. We love Aww, you. Oh, we, we love, love you too. You so much. All we love people. you too. Yeah, look at this. All of these people are praying for right. you. Yeah. Um, and you are here for a reason. So we thank you. We're gonna continue the celebration to keep you excited, Chris. Yeah, and y'all get a drink and pour the shit in your tube. 
Yeah. What? <laughs> Tell me. Don't tell her to do that. Yeah, Christina, listen, don't do that. Get, listen, get drunk with it. Fuck Stop cancer. Don't the feet. She don't even have a feet in two. Do y'all want to kick out again? Because I feel like what this is kick, kick out. Well, let's, let's back up a minute. I feel like we kind of get off. Turn up. That's what the we trying. That we don't want to be responsible for. So we're going to scrap that last one. We are not mm -hmm. trying to give medical advice or anything. Yes. We are in support of our sister Christina. Christina, this 20th show is dedicated to you. Aww. This is dedicated and your shiny to ass bald head. Hey. <laughs> she knows she got shiny ass bald head. Christina, don't worry about her. We love you. We love you. We love you. We got this. Christina, I'm bald. <laughs> Christina head ain't dry though because she got the shape back of tour. The love the back of tour. Back tour stuff. Yeah, Listen, she yes, does. We'll be shining. She good and she she here. That's why she here. She know what she getting. So Kia, yeah, she know. Party going. Um, let's now let's get your side of what happened. We know Christina. Don't listen to her. Um, <laughs> let's give us give us your side and and your feedback on candid convos. How did we get here? Twenty episodes in. How we get here? Oh my gosh. Um. We actually, you know, I guess it's the old saying when life gives you lemonade, lemons, you make lemonade, kind of like because my oh, you add Tito's. Shit. <laughs> you don't add Tito's. Add Tito's okay. and lemons. Tea. Okay. Stop. I'm sorry. Um, I was in a really low place in my life. And not because my career, my career was fine. My kids were happy and healthy, but like I just didn't feel fulfilled. I didn't feel like I had a voice. I didn't feel like I knew what my purpose was. I had all these ideas, but I had like no one to really bounce them off of. And I really didn't feel like my home environment was supportive of me being more than just a mother and a wife. Mm -hmm. And so because I didn't feel that the way that I expressed all of my emotion was to write it. That's what I do. It's like journaling in itself. And so because T is like this kind of, oh my God, watch your mouth. No, you're amazing. I'm oh. giving you a compliment, darn. Oh. <laughs> um, T is a lot more assertive than I am. So it's like. That was a nice way to put it. That was yeah. real nice. That was she, well, she is. That was so cute. like when I told her how I felt, I didn't just say, you know, hi, you know, hey, I'm upset. No, I just said, I feel like I don't have a voice. I feel invisible. And this was at two o'clock in the morning. Yeah. And so I was really like emotional because at that point, um, just full transparency, I feel like my marriage was not in a great place. You know, he and I, I felt well, felt like we're on two different pages. I was going this way, he was going that way. And I just didn't feel heard or respected. So when T suggested that we do put this out, I was petrified. I was like, oh no, I had never done this before until like Love Advocates and the three part series, Know Your Role Woman. I never, I had spoken at work, but all of that stuff is written out. It's a curriculum, so you just follow it. Mm -hmm. I had never just got on here and spoke like this. And so I was really nervous, but you guys, the way you guys embraced me, the way you guys supported us, like it just, it propelled me, it propelled this. So I'm just, I love you guys. We're here because of you. And I'm so grateful. Aww. That was so nice. Let's That's take so a drink. Sweet. Let's take a drink. Let's take a Aww. drink. Take a drink for that. Cheers, bitches. <laughs> Are those the cups I got you? Yes, yeah, and we love them too. We sure do. Cheers, bitches. Cheers, bitches. Mm, shame on me. Shame on me. Listen, you did right. I knew Lele that was going to be right on time. Lele bought them. It's fine. Lele yeah, Lele bought them. Um, yeah, for those of you didn't buy these, Lele brought them for a 40th birthday. Right. <laughs> so for those of you who are just tuning in, V and I, we say hello to the people. We are hosting tonight's episode of Candid Combo. So tonight's episode is Candid Combo with Lele and V. Um, oh. With being... But we are celebrating the 20th episode of Candy Combos with mm -hmm. Kia. So we're so excited. Make sure you um, drop in the comments um, all mm -hmm. your celebratory emojis and emoticons, all of them things the young people and on this Insta book because we're so happy to be here. That's Not why the Insta book. Oh, wow. Yes. <laughs> so Thank what, you. 
I mean, Kia, what I heard you say was that, you know, this was an opportunity for you to share your, to find um, your voice publicly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it, what I know about the two of you is that your relationship has blossomed over the month. What started out as very um, intentional work related um, yeah. Yeah. now grown into this bond and this sisterhood that has yeah. allowed you both to kind of um, be in the trenches together in yeah. some instance, as you as you've gone through certain things, but you've also been able to celebrate together. Um, so many different milestones. Everybody, you guys know T just turned 40. Um, yeah. Yeah. Just turned 40. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Kia announced that her and V are going to be hosting um, a very important, very monumental event coming up in January. That's hard. Yeah, you guys. Have- Thank you. Thank Don't you. ignore the scarf. Go follow them. <laughs> Right. Oh, me. Where where can they um where can they follow you and your mom's um mission and your initiative? Where can they follow you guys? Um, right. Dits underscore K V on Instagram. Uh D I T S underscore K V. Um and on Facebook, they can also find us uh at Don't Ignore the Scars. Uh, mm-hmm. and we're excited. Our slots are Almost full up. I think last time I looked, we had like three, three more slots. Three Did I slots. Can y'all yeah, do slots. these ones? I think I still need to register. Save me a spot. Hold on. I... Okay, I'm gonna save you a seat in the front. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I got you. I'm gonna put my purse. On. I am so grateful, and it, you know, we're we started in what was it, July. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we were. T, thank you. Because honestly, I had all these ideas and like, again, T is just like, so I don't get it, but just go ahead and do it. I'm like, what? You just, just got an idea, just, jump in the ring. like, you just want to start it. It's not hard. <laughs> so between, mm-hmm. between T and Couture, it was really good. We were able to start our own LLC. Um, don't ignore the scars. Um, LLC in July of this year. We Woo-hoo. are, our, uh, our website is going to go live in a couple weeks. So I'm excited about that. Yes. Um, it definitely will be live before, way before the information session. Yeah. And the um, store with Don't Ignore the Scars. There's so much I want to do, so much I want to say. And honestly, I can't wait. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm nervous, but I'm that. excited. I know, That's I'm very good. excited. That's a good thing. So we do have, oh, wait, you got something you want to say? Go ahead. Yeah, I want to just jump in real quick and go back to what Kia was saying and just publicly say that I applaud just even the growth that oh, you wait. had. So we met last November 11th is when we became co-workers okay. at our part-time, long time ago. And so we've only known each other a year, but this year has been so monumental oh. and just the growth of you as a woman, as a mom, as a business partner, the goal has always been to, and if you guys watch the Love Advocate part, I, my goal was to help her find her voice and for her to not have her voice be muffled. Mm-hmm. Um, and listen, she cusses me the fuck out now. <laughs> no, I don't. Oh, yes, she does. No, I no. So she not has with actual not- profanity all the time. It'd be backwards different. sometimes, but oh. you know, she, she, you know, but anyhow, the point was, I applaud the growth that you've had um, just overall. You know, your voice has value and you have realized that um, and has just grown into like this whole agency. She's like, I want to start. Why can't you? Mm-hmm. Why can't you? Let's go get it. V, you have definitely grown also, man, within oh, this yeah. year that I've known you. Um, and just the support that you guys give not only me, but Lonnie and our, just our whole tribe. So hats off and thank you. Oh my so, gosh. Yeah. Um, thank you. Actually, Let me close my robe up. Thank you. Oh, oh my God. Right. Well, they yes. Pay, they didn't pay for that part. So yeah, close your robe up. But at this right. moment, I'm behind a sign anyway. At this moment, we just have a word from one of our sponsors. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Are you guys looking for a wonderful organization that you can join? where you can be a part of women who we're supporting Bump and Beyond. Are you also looking for some wonderful shea butter that can help you with your stretch marks and lotion up those ashy hands? And the ankles. 
and ankles because it is the winter season. Well, this brief inter uh, commercial is brought to you by CocoBump.com. Please visit us for all of your holiday boxes, all of your ways and resources as we commit to celebrating women bump and beyond. Yes. Yes. Y'all better check Coco Thank Bump you, Coco Bump, for sponsoring this video. <laughs> You're so welcome. And Coco Kids, right? And Coco, right. Right. Coco Kids. And Coco Kids. Um, yes, thank you, Anika, for recognizing our plan. Shave so, <laughs> uh, the question that, you know, we, we had toggled back and forth. Mm -hmm. Why don't you um, ask? We're just going to have a little fun with you ladies right now. All right. <laughs> to our first giveaway, okay? So we're going to have a little fun with you guys. We'll jump into our first giveaway. V, one of the little ones, you know, you and I were... Mm, conversing about. Why don't you mm -hmm. throw one of them at them? All right. Y'all ready? It's for us? Oh. Mm -hmm. Yes. For oh, wow. Guys. Okay. Here, let me, I have it written down. Let me see. Yeah, that's the next question. Yeah, this is different. <laughs> I hope I know the answer. This could be a It feels pain. really weird on this side, I will say. <laughs> I know. I feel like I got to be hitting some buttons. It feels weird. Oh, yeah. You, you're going to want to hit this button. Uh, can you name all seven dwarfs from Snow White? Who? One of you. Uh, let me see. It's, uh, Sleepy, Thirsty, no, uh, Dumb, no, Sleepy, is it Bashful? Yeah. Delightful? Um, that is not one, T. Uh, Horny, that Grumpy, oh, that is, yes. Grumpy. That's three. Grumpy. Uh, is it one called Happy? No. Audience, if oh, y'all yeah, want to help wait, them out. Wait, wait. It is one happy. Happy. Oh, Sleazy. Ain't one of them named Sleazy? Oh, no. no. There's not one named Sleazy. Definitely not one named Thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> Don't encourage her, but here. Uh, Grumpy, Bashful, Dopey, Dopey, Happy, Dopey. Happy. We already have Happy. Yeah, you doc. Doc. Oh, it was a doc. Doc. Okay. How many was that? So, um, I think y'all got them all. Grumpy, got them all, actually. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Grumpy, dopey, horny, dopey, lazy, happy, bashful, sneezy, and sleepy. Sleazy. Yeah, I said sleepy. 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 We said the seven dwarves, not the seven. Oh, I thought you were dwarves. saying the Pornhub version. No, oh, my God. No. Don't worry about it. Sorry. Ask that part out, please. Sorry. I, that seven dwarves. We don't oh, watch. Oh, got you. Dwarves. We don't watch Pornhub. Do what they need to do. I, I, I sure don't. That's what my friend has said. I agree. She cheated. I knew it. Yep. Yeah, it's so nice. I was really trying to guess. You were really. I, I saw you that. You were. You were. Well, for you guys, we've come to the fun part. It's time for our first giveaway. T H right. And can I just say our giveaways um for this show have been provided by Aisha Richards. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. um, who who is my sister and a friend to the show. Um, <laughs> and she's been supporting us from day one. So Aisha, thank you so much. Yes, for, yes, yes. Thank you so much for your. See, for your we gift. actually got gifts this time. Any other time, <laughs> y'all don't wear shit, but a thank you. This time, we got you. <laughs> gift number uh, one. All right. Okay. Well, right. oh, they got gift bags and shit. I'm glad gift I ain't had to design them. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Ooh, okay. Now, I'm excited. Yeah. Should we? Show I'm excited. You? No, no, no. I have to, uh -uh. What do they have to do okay. to win this? Now we ain't gonna show them whoever get it gonna have to take a picture and tag us in it. No, we should. <laughs> nope. 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 It's a surprise. Nope. It's a surprise. Okay. Take it away. Okay. So the giveaway containing one of these um is gonna be given to one of our viewers. Um it fell, sorry, <laughs> that have been viewing the show and showing support consistently to Candid Convo. So Ooh. I want you guys to comment down below what is your favorite Candid Convo memory? Ooh. Favorite member? Memory. 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 What is your favorite Candid Convo memory? They, they still went down in it. Down in the valley where the girl can you stop from any show? It can eat, I'll, I'll even throw it 
throw in the Love Advocates one too, since that was one of technically your first show. Um, so then, do they get to choose a memory? Or how do they? They gonna choose. Huh. Yeah. Nice, nice. I like this idea. Okay, so while we wait for you guys mm -hmm. to drop those. Uh, yeah, because you know it's a delay. <laughs> Talking about oh, God, oh yeah, that was a good one. Ooh, oh, good oh, one. oh yeah, that was oh that was a yeah. real listen. Ooh, that was man. A yeah, that was that was raw. Mm. Yeah, but yeah. listen, and shout out to Brad, man. He yes. came on and was able to oh, give yeah. the male perspective, which is what we normally yes. don't get to hear. Yes, a man oh, is getting that child support. The blue ball conversation. Yes, <laughs> that was a good and one. Chanel, that's that was a good one. Hold on, ain't nobody said my favorite yet. Oh, the freaking Friday, Friday. y'all. Yeah. had me in heels. I was in a lemon drop. I did. I like that one. <laughs> yeah, that Freaky Friday was Freaky Friday. Talk about being at home with these damn kids while working. Yes, yes. Hashtag fuck them kids. <laughs> these kids. Let me talk about them kids real quick. This full year of this virtual stuff. Listen, mm -hmm. them kids that forgot what their school stomachs was. Yeah, they done right. went home and picked up a summer stomach and wanted to go all year round. Right. <laughs> Let's go back to you not eating breakfast like you didn't eat when you right. had to go to school. Or Let's go back to eating the candy bar and a two dollar soda for lunch mm -hmm. because you swipe my damn car. Let's talk about that. You're not eating dinner till six. I'm, I'm oh sorry. My God. I'm sorry. I'm just talking about them kids need them damn. They need them all year round summers. Yeah, she was definitely triggered by that one. All right, so the sorry. next one that was dropped it, dropped in here. This one came first. Um, when the husbands were talking about the roles of men and women. And yeah. That was oh. our first episode here. Listen. Without husband. Yes. That show tested all of my patience. I'm just going to tell you. Yours. It's, it's, I thought some of the stuff that Michael was saying, I got texted afterwards. They were like, is he really serious? Mm -hmm. Is yes. he serious? B was running interception in them comments. Yeah. Because they were like, is this? Is he real? B was like, no, he playing. Right. That's why his daughters was in the comments like, please. Oh, Lord, Dad. Why the hell is you? Right. And I'm sitting there like, she don't, that's somebody else's husband. Mm. I was like, mm. what? <laughs> Do we need to blink twice if it's still okay? <laughs> Listen, I, right. had, I had to hit her ass with the mask. I had to put the mask on. Yeah, he, he, was, my he, was, he was sounding a, a, a bit chauvinistic. He was definitely <laughs> sounding a, a bit dated. Summer. But but you know what? But I would say since then I have seen a lot of growth in Michael. See? So kudos to Michael who also has evolved right. along so with progress. There right. you go. Right, right. <laughs> that part. <Yeah. laughs> now she done gave her let me shout out Jerome for um now she done shout out now I gotta shout Jerome out for he feel left out. Shout, Jerome, well, you know what <laughs> wait, it is, bro. Wait, let me say this. Alexia, let me tell you. I mean, Lele. What's up, BJ? Lele, listen, do right. you remember in one of the begins in the show where T said, I could just do whatever I want? Yes. Because <laughs> yes. yes. I was texting her too. I said, and you need to fix. You need to. Because I can get together. I can do whatever. I okay. Even if it's true, you need to. <laughs> I ain't mean it like that, though. I wasn't. You had me on there looking like a bitch. Right. I was like, oh, shit. Now I got to come back and make it right. Please. Right. Because I, I was like, damn, I, I got a tiptoe in the house and shit. And that, that's not really what I was saying. But right. you know, they be editing and stuff oh, and make stuff look like it. You produce the show. Oh, mind your business. Right. I was like, but I thought, never mind. That's for, never mind. The, the important thing, and here's what I do want to acknowledge. Here's what I do want to acknowledge. You were receptive to the feedback. You came back and you did refine your comment, what you said. You sure did. I you did. Sure did. You that sure did. Sure, we could have avoided it in the first place by not saying it, but hey. You know what? I appreciate no shape, um, but I appreciate the fact you can't circle back around. Mm -hmm. You took heed, and you were able to, um, you know, bring it on back. So listen, because at the end of the day, I don't never want to make my husband look like a punk in front of people. No, we never. Mm -hmm. And so I, when I Go said it, me. when I said it, I didn't say it with that intention right. or for him to feel that way. So yeah. I was like, let me come bring my lord ignorant ass back. And publicly apologize 
Because he ain't no fucking paw. Uh, uh, let me say uh, it. Uh, Chris said you yeah. was back stepping with the quickness. Hey, I had the lemon peppers on back stepping with the pudding. I put them so she worked a house business. Hey, 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 wait, 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 wait a minute. The Michael Jackson moonwalk on it. The moon, I moonwalk back. Wait, you can have to put my social work shoes in. So can I just say the social here is a social worker. Um, <laughs> I know. And so if you 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 got to go find it, I'm not going to tell you about it. You got to go find it, find the picture, <laughs> screenshot it and repost it in these comments, even if it's after the show. Mm -hmm. right. right. Go find the link to it or whatever and find the post that T did when she had on the social worker 3000. <laughs> <laughs> But why? Oh, oh my God, Lele! Oh, I wasn't ready for that one. Oh my God. Uh, I don't wear them every time. Okay, it's just it's a house visit for okay. thousand. Let me see. Let me see, Christina. With this oh, oh, whoa! Okay, Christina. Oh, okay. Oh. What? Huh? Right. Oh, was okay. that for episodes? That wasn't one of our memories. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure. No, thought, you didn't miss that episode. Okay, I thought maybe I was at um at a prayer meeting with that. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. You didn't miss. Okay. I, well, she, had, I mean, we have we have talked about some very risque things here on no, Canada. Going for, I think that might have been. Didn't we have somebody on that does like um toy parties and and we stuff? did have a toy party with Nicole. Oh, yeah, party with that, Nikki. You know, like it has a suction on it. At the front, and then you know it goes in. So uh, the, the G oh, she was saying maybe the toy party was her favorite show. Got yeah. you, Christina. No, oh, okay. Got you. We're talking about. Got you now. I don't have no more to drink. Yes, yeah, see. She's talking. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's toy. What she said, she said it was too easy to say toy party. Uh, one. I need to say everything that I remember. So she wants y'all to know that she saw it and she retained that so, part. She, that part. She could take. She, she could take the SATs because I didn't. <laughs> and she got that nice old moisturized bald head. She is good to go. That's right. Brought you by. Brought you by me. And she probably got one of them bracelets made by Jay. Mm -hmm. She got one of them books you by CocoBump.com. Mm -hmm. Or she was in the writings on the wall by Anika. That part. <laughs> or she registered for the Don't Ignore the Stars training in January. No, shout out to Anika and the tips that she laid out the other Baby, day. Baby, what y'all say? Who Ooh. else I missed? Um, um, did we get the we got the cocoa, we got the body butter. She mentioned that. Okay, so do we have any more comments? Well, so far, I don't know if you were counting, but I should have had somebody you had you counting. But so far, we have had the following. I'm gonna bring it up again. So we yeah. had talking about child support, V. Okay. We had Freaky Friday. Freaky Friday. Hi, Nika. Wait, who did who did the um child support one? Whose name was that? Because it doesn't show me. So who was Hold that? On, I can tell you. Uh the child support is I'm following Nelly. Nelly, okay. Okay. Um and then Chanel brought up the blue balls. Blue balls. Uh-huh. Um Bakir said the kids while working at home. Right, and we need them food stamps. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Christina, I'm not going to break back. Let me, let me scroll down. Christina said the toy party. Let's just note that. Christina. Uh, hey, and, and make sure y'all shout, listen, shout out to these treasure chests too. She was yes. on our show too. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Yep, we were on together. So yes, yes right. right. Ooh, yes. Who said this one? Um, When the husbands were talking about their roles. Who, who put this one up, T? Um, Putting. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yep. These treasure chests, right? Because you can only get credit for one, and the um, and put and put it up first. Don't be trying to, right? Right. All right. So Tony said to leave them social worker three thousand shoes alone because she wear them too. Right? <laughs> <laughs> like, Tony, wait. wait somebody said burn. Them. Them. Said you need to burn them. Though. That's that. No. Really? That I said burn them. Shut up. Them don't smell like pay less in the summer. No. Wait a minute. You got a pay almost just like it. That's the thing. You have a pay never been a Y'all no, ever been in no, no, no. the summer and get that good smell of patent I did not get them from the, I think they came from JC Penny. But Payless um shoes do because I'm I'm a frequent JC Penny shopper, so I can just be But I'm gonna say the Worthington collection, like I love JC Penny. Right, but I'm gonna say those were not from Payless. I have to say. 
They smelt like Payless. I ain't say well, that. But what you smell like? Mine smelled almost the mine night. smelled like bottom closet ninety eight. Well, mine was at the middle of it. Oh, okay. okay. Right. The middle. Of the, I thought they was at the bottom. Somebody yeah. said they like when they get kicked out too. So I just yeah, want to so so nice. bring us all full circle. They promised they was gonna be on their best behavior, and they lied to y'all. Somebody said they like it when people get kicked out. So are y'all? They forgot who was hosting. Are y'all ready? Y'all, y'all ready? Oh, y'all. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go get me How something else. To How does it feel? I done went through two cups. I'm like, oh, why are you drinking on mine? Because you said you wasn't drinking alcohol. Some people get. See, so, they, ain't get they ain't got together. So, anywho. We're going to give our. So, for those of you who are just tuning in, I know you've been rocking with us for a minute, but we are celebrating the 20th episode of Candid Convos with. Yeah, is this Maury? She getting up and what's happening? We had to go. We thought we were still backstage. We was going to get some more of them free edibles out oh. back. Oh my god, she didn't. She didn't got up and walked off the stage like more. And get some more of yeah. that macaroni and cheese that got up front. Okay, y'all got a good green room over here. We like it being backstage. <laughs> oh my gosh, this was brought to you by Don't Ignore the Scars and CocoBump.com. We got good stuff backstage. Don't ignore the scars, CocoBump.com. Right on the wall. Um, bracelets made by Jay. Made These by Jay. treasure chests. Let, let me go to Love Advocates. Love Advocates. Coco Kids. Cool. Yeah. Whole bunch of stuff. As you can see, um, Party with um, Nikki. Uh, That's Love right. Cora. I'm looking through all your old ones. As you can mm -hmm. see, we are also supporters of small businesses. That's right. Yes, absolutely. absolutely. Small business. Love made by Couture. I said that yeah, a couple all times. Of that, all of that. Yeah. Okay. All of that. So, anywho, y'all. Right. So, Go ahead. I got a question. Yes. So this is y'all 20th show. So what can your viewers, anyone else out there, newcomers and all, expect from future camp combo? <laughs> Go ahead, T. Y'all can expect some more foolery. <laughs> Some more fun. I feel like we want to go real Jerry Springer. No. And, or maybe like old school Jerry Springer where people can really fight and shit. Because listen, our sister podcast, The Legacy Philly, they got the good wholesome shows. If you want to build your credit, you want to uh, open a business, you want to learn about your skin and your wellness and yoga and all that. Okay, Sundays you know. at 2, The Legacy Podcast yeah, Philly. Definitely. Y'all want to cut the rug and cook oodles and noodles and shit in the microwave and say fuck them kids okay. and let your hair down and put your wig on a dresser after you combed it out and put your bonnet on and take your bra off. See, you come over here with us. I'm just saying that she, okay, sorry. Or, or what she's trying to do is on Fridays as you are unwinding from the week and you just really don't care. You can, everybody. Right, them kids, them bosses, them husbands, them bills. You can come to Candid Convos. That's so what I was saying. At seven p.m. Eastern time on Sunday, when you are ready to get ready for the week after you done took the weekend, them kids, them bills. Them That's spouses, right. Them get back on track. Right. The like but we will be here again so. Friday. Same shenanigans, different day. So, well, right. you know what? But but yeah. that's some in between too. Well, my but, thing. Well, well okay. So yes. Yeah. We're always going to be very candid with our conversation. So that we'll never deviate from that because that's just who we are. But we also but, do other stuff. But you can look forward to us talking about more and more taboo stuff. Things that people are thinking, things that other countries are discussing yeah. and we are afraid to discuss. Yeah. And so like even with next week's show, yeah. we actually are going to be having a conversation about STDs and when is the right time for you to talk to your kid about sex. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, I'm you sorry, other countries are ahead of us, and pregnancy tried. rate is substantially lower. Yeah. And so is the STD. I never rate. had that talk. The birds and the bees ain't did shit to sing me. And we're going to have yeah. some guests on. One that's going to be an expert, and two that's going to be a, a expert on a different level. Correct. Um, she actually got pregnant when she was a teenager. Correct. So, um, uh -huh. we, we want to talk about that kind of stuff because that's just real stuff. And Drop mm -hmm. in the comments what you guys want us to talk about yeah, yeah. in this yeah. upcoming year. Yeah, as we get right. ready to plan yeah. these shows out for 2021, what do you guys want us to talk about? What is something that's been on your heart to talk about or to hear about that folks aren't discussing? That's what we want to hit. 
those yeah. targets um, of, of conversation. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Put them in the comments. That's so true. Um, because as you can see, T and Kia, uh, they are, and, and let me back up too. They are fun. They're energetic. They're engaging. But they are both professionals, okay? Absolutely. Um, and they're very and, intelligent. And, yeah, they're very intelligent. They're educated. Yeah. Holding women uh, certified in all kinds Thank of different you. Things. So we want to make sure we encourage that, right? Because sometimes we think that, oh, well, we can't have this conversation because of X. Or, well, are they qualified to talk about certain conversations? Yes, they are. And in areas where there may be some additional qualification, they fill in those gaps. So yes, it's fun. Yes, it's entertaining. But um, yeah. absolutely, they want to make sure that they give the people what they want. That's what I mean. Thank you. Give the people. And Thank I'm tired of that. talking in my customer service voice all day. Right. <laughs> By the time I get to Friday at 7, this is what you get. Right, right, right. Let's talk about sex, baby. Let's, Let's talk about you and me. Yeah. Yes, you are. Y'all are doing an excellent job. Yeah. As as our special guest, we couldn't name the better group. A oh. pair, greater pair of ladies. Thank y'all. Well, thank you, V. What were you, thank you so much, V. What were you about to say? I had a question. So, mm -hmm. have y'all ever tried female Viagra? What? Viagra. Yeah, yeah, and the lady at the gas station, Lexi. You remember we was at the mm -hmm. gas station, and the and the man and the and the lady man was trying to tell us about the. It was a different Lexi. It wasn't. It wasn't me, Lexi. It was a that different. Was, I, I no, that, that was. It wasn't I, Musa. If you're watching, it wasn't. She wasn't talking about me, Lexi. <laughs> I was talking about for my friend who needed it. The man said it. Was we was at the gas station. The man was talking to us because he bought it for him and his girlfriend in a car. Oh, so, right. You remember? No, I actually have never uh, heard of female Viagra. Yeah, it's called Pink you Pussy. Serious? One of them is called, not called no. You just made that up. I promise you, one of them is called Pink Pussy. See, you can't it make it up. I didn't Google it. Pink, uh, Google it. Everything and it got a cat on it. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure I. I'm pretty sure I've heard of that. Pink, pink pussy, yeah. 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 And you take but it I and you can drink it. Works. I mean, I heard. I, I heard. I don't think I would want that. <laughs> well, you know, sometimes people need, sometimes women may need a little extra. Yeah, if it's support. recommended. And but people not that's just on to birth take control. It, just, no, I think that's on birth control. Like, but some like, people that's on different kinds, they're oh, actually, different. Now, I'm going to say, when I took the depo shot, it, it one of the side effects is a, re, a reduced yeah, libido. Yeah, and if you're on antidepressants and all that oh, stuff. Oh, the Lexapro uh, reduces See, your libido. Yeah, that's true. Sometimes after you hit, you know, menopause and things like that. Sometimes yeah, that's true. Sometimes your drive may change. Yeah, you know, and vaginal well, dryness. Mm -hmm. yeah. so there's, there's yeah. While well, you guys are Googling pink pussy, uh, Google blue pussy too. Oh okay, no. you know. Don't yeah. Google that one for real. It's just a, look at niggas that, and it's a boy side. Right, this is what I'm saying. It, she made that up. Right. I'm like, you can't do that. Oh, yeah, that's right. Because it just jumped to her mind. Like, mm -hmm. just, I mean, Alexia <laughs> just said that we're knowledgeable, and here she go with the big pussy. Making a sometimes up. knowledge, but that's knowledgeable. You had never heard of it, so I, but she thank you, Putin. Go to the Putin said triple X at the herb store. Bomb product. I hey, hold on, hold on. I got you, Chanel. Uh -uh. <laughs> hold on, Putin. What herb store? The weed man. You just want the dispensary. What's the hey. herb store? Yeah. Okay, herb store? well, hold on. We're gonna circle back because we're coming up on our um, we're coming up on our time. I see. The, oh, we gotta give our stuff away. Right. We see oh, the yes. producer. I see the producer waving. I got. Yep, I got you. I'm gonna bring them back in. So mm -hmm. we do. Right. Thank have, you. Um, yeah, I do have one more question for you, and then we're gonna get into our last giveaway. Okay. So, how old were you when you realized what you wanted to be when you bro grew up? Well, I always knew I wanted to be a hoe. So, <laughs> so y'all remember when Cardi B said a hoe never gets cold? I don't. I use that in my daily life. You know, I'll be going out on Fridays and I'll be like, mm -hmm. should I wear this little ass dress? I'm a kick. A hoe never gets cold, so I should be fine. I'm... So it's me. Um, it's candid convo with Lele. Actually, I'm going to go to Alexia for right now. Um, 
And I'm going to give them all a moment to get them. Not you, Alexa. I'm going to give them all a moment to get themselves together. Are you ladies? Or is everybody ready? Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Here we go. Welcome back. Welcome back. Oh, wow. I almost disappeared. You know, my ADHD kicked in. I was going to go outside. Okay, well, Alexia, I plan to answer your question. Thank you. Um, uh, I would say I was probably about 15 because in the beginning, when like when I was first starting high school, I believed, believe it or not, I wanted to be a hairstylist. And so I went to school, ha like, you know, how you go half high school and half vocational school. So I go to school half a day and then I go to like cosmetology school for like the rest of the day. Okay. But then I started thinking about it. I mean, I was talking to people while I was doing their hair and they were telling me all their problems and it just felt really natural. And then unlike a lot of other kids in foster care, I actually had a really good social worker. Mm. And she was really, she was a strong advocate. She made sure I was in touch with my biological family. She really went above and beyond. Um, the first time I ever flew um, somewhere was Colorado for a youth leadership conference. And it's because my social worker paid for it and made sure that I was included. So I just said, mm, do I want to stand on my feet all day doing people's hair or do I really want to make a difference in another way? So probably I was about 15 and I was like, I definitely want to be a social worker. And she actually still does hair. She does her own hair and Bee's oh, hair. Yeah. She does my and hair. she's done my hair. <laughs> and she does a lot of other people's hair too. So she actually accomplished both of her wannabes. Oh, when I was younger, yeah. I wanted to be a pediatrician. Oh, because I was like, oh, I want to be a pediatrician. But then I went to college and they was like, and you need to do about 20 more years. And I was like, I ain't got it. So then I was like, okay, I want to do computer science. And then I went to the first coding class and was like, mm -mm, I ain't got it. My parents were drug addicts. I didn't, I ain't got that side of the brain. Okay. So then I was like, you know what? When I graduated high school, my yearbook said I want to help the less fortunate kids of the world. And I'm doing that part. Okay. I'm doing that part one nonprofit at a time. But okay. and, you mm -hmm. and I'm sorry. And you went to the army. I never wanted to be in the army, but I really? did. I know. Hell no. So what made you go? Oh, because I had slumped out my first year in college. I went to Morgan and turned the fuck up. <laughs> and my grades got turned down. And so I was like, you know what? I can't go back home <laughs> to my grandparents with this report card. So I joined the army. I went, she joined Listen, the army. I went home. I went and, and I went to go talk to the, real quick. I know y'all got to go. Real quick story time. Story time with T. Listen. So I went to go sign up with the Air Force because I was an Air Force ROTC in high school, right? And I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm going to go join the Air Force because I knew I had failed college. I knew the goal to be a college graduate was going out the window slowly but surely for me. So let me go talk to this Air Force recruiter. So then I went down there to the building. Air Force recruiter had moved to another building. But guess who was there? The yes, army. The army recruiter. He damn sure was. And you just in so he was like, let me talk to you for a minute. He seen me. I was hungry for a new opportunity because I knew I had failed college. So <laughs> I, I was like, let's talk. He was talking money. I was talking okay. I signed the line. I went home to my grandparents. I said, I leave in two weeks to go to basic training. I joined the army. They was like, what about your apartment? What about college? They said they're going to pay me. I'm going to send the money home. By the time my grades came, I was in basic training. I called <laughs> home on a Sunday. And my grandma was like, oh, I see why your ass went in the army. Your brain came. And I was like, oh, Ma, I got to go. We got to go shine our boots. And that's how I joined the army. But I loved it. I mean, I almost got put out a couple of times. I mean, but that's another story. But and can we say, but can we say, mm -hmm. you did go on to graduate from college. Okay? I did. Hey, I yeah. got a degree, baby. I got a degree, baby. Oh. Hey, hey, I got a degree, baby. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Now, Anika, oh, let me close up my bra. Social worker wants to shout out to a fellow social workers who are. There you go, Anika. Anika got them social worker home visit four thousands too. Anika, show us a picture of your shoes. <laughs> really? I know she got some social worker three thousand. Tony do too. <laughs> Thank you, Anika. All right. So, so social workers first, unite. So our first winner before we move into the second one. Um, mm -hmm. now we have our winner for our first giveaway, then we're gonna go right into our second giveaway. Okay. So the winner of the first giveaway is drum roll. <laughs> Tell them, v. Chanel. Yes. yes! Hey, you actually gonna win something, Slim? Yes. Oh, no. Come on, Chanel. Come on, Chanel. So all yes. you do, um, turn up. 
We're going to transfer you to our customer service line, and someone from the radio station will get your um, phone, your name, and your address. Um, so yeah. you can send you your gift, or you'll have to come up to the station to pick and it pick up. And pick them up. So, Chanel, send us an inbox with your shit. Yeah, yeah. basically. We'll make sure you get it. Send us your phone. <laughs> All right. All right. Chanel. All right. So let's move into we coming up on the hour. So let's move into our last giveaway that we had. So so this was hard. OK, this was hard. But. The hey, let me Friday, have that when you finish. The Freaky Friday was iconic. <laughs> was iconic. The Freaky and Friday actually, was Anika iconic. Said, I believe Anika, Anika, you said. Freaky yeah. Friday, correct? Yeah. Because I'm going with that one. Because that uh, was that was going yeah. to congratulations, Anika. I'm taking those pictures, I was on the floor. <laughs> it was hilarious. Hey, and B shout out B did my makeup for the Freaky Friday. Yes. 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 Man, listen, she was like, look up, close your you, listen, y'all let me show y'all how I had to look up. She was like, I gotta put your line on right there. Okay, you ever put your face like that? Look at my daughter. The glasses back up. Right. She was like, close your mouth. I'm like, it go like this. And that's what I'm talking about. Meanwhile, I'm stripped down. I'm stripped down to bare minimum. I'm glad I was able to do this show in the whole room today. But for those of you who who may didn't who did not get a chance to um, catch that particular episode again, it was amazing. But let me just show you real quickly what they are talking about. Oh, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> right, right, that part. Oh my god! <laughs> yes, that part. Oh my god! You are not. <laughs> Mirage, this is T with some hills. Them is not social work, three thousand. Them is like, just like social work are nine thousand. That's when you know. We oh. <laughs> hey, my calf was burning like I don't know what from taking this picture that? in them hills. Oh, Winnie the Pooh, right there, he dancing and stuff. Yeah, you see when? <laughs> hey, Winnie was like, you got me woke up for this, right? <laughs> my little pool bear was standing on my calf like a soldier. Yeah, yeah, she so. was like, hurry up and take the picture because I'm going to fall. And y'all yeah. see, I was leaning back because I was holding off for my stomachs there. Y'all saw it. It looked like you was about to pass out, but you look cute. Look, I couldn't breathe. And Toy was trying to get angles and all that. It was too much. Kia was, was over here laugh. giving full on Tay in the ma now I was glad she had on a matching pajama set. That one time you wore a matching pajama set with her punky Brewster shoes on. <laughs> she had on her bonnet. And she, she had on Mitch so Max socks because I don't match socks. Yep. She had it. Oh. So congratulations to Anika. Yes. Thank you. Congratulations hey, congratulations, to Anika. Anika. Congratulations, Chanel. Mm -hmm. Hey. This Thank has you. been such a fun time, such an amazing experience. So glad. Um, on behalf of everybody who's tuning in, I know they've spoken for it, but um, we are so proud of you, ladies. Keep doing what you're doing. We're going to continue to support you and the growth that you're doing. Um, we truly believe that this fun, especially during this time, right? Can we? I mean, it is. People yeah, are, yeah. It's depressed. People were going it's through a time. Yeah. Um, and you guys were able to bring some light, some laughter, some love every Friday, and you're going to continue to do so. So, yeah, absolutely. Here, everybody, grab your cups. Let's yes, cheers. my drink's almost gone, but I'll I'll take yes. this wig, you know, whatever's left in it. Cheers to twenty more. Clean yes. Woo. <laughs> Woo. Real quick before we go, I have a I have a petition. Let me scoop y'all. Know I gotta get close to my good story. Oh, no, gee, no, you real quick. No, 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 real what? quick. I know y'all gotta go, but listen, it's the holiday season. It's the holiday season, and it's a lot of kids right here in Baltimore that don't have coats, that don't have toys, that won't have anything for this holiday season for a lot of different reasons. Candy combos, and I'm speaking for both of us. Let me put you back on it. Candy combos, <laughs> along with Cocoa Bump, Dot com and Coco Kids have partnered with some great group of folks up here in Baltimore to help them out with their coat drive, which is going to be December the 20th, and their toy drive for December the 22nd. The coat drive is for a group of kids that reside in a group home up here in Baltimore. 
that really ain't getting nothing, right? The toy drive is for a community of kids up here where the young guy that's doing it, his name is Rome, and he's just trying to give back to some kids that he see every day in his neighborhood who parents is not going to give them a Christmas. So if you can donate a coat, a scarf, a set of gloves, a pair of socks, a toy, whatever you can do, inbox me. Inbox me so we can make sure that we get these kids a Christmas because that's what it's about. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 Here, so DM um, Candid Cabo with T and Kia on Instagram or here if you want to participate. In the yeah, absolutely. Job. You can also email at supportingcoblebump.com. Yeah. Um, to participate as well. Go ahead, T. And yes, they are taking gently used coats. Let me gently. If you wouldn't wear it, don't yeah. don't share it. Right. If you don't, Gen that's what gently I use me. If the zipper is broke, throw the shit in the trash. If tray. it has a bunch of cat mm -hmm. hair, oh my gosh, what is it about the cat and the dog hair when people hey, donate stuff? And wash it, man. Wash it and sanitize it. When right. when I come and get it, or whoever come and pick right. it up, it should be sanitized, wash it in the bag. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right. We want to make sure that these kids can get something. So clean your closets. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We need from a medium adults, male medium to a two uh, X for men. For the women, the coats is a women's medium through a three X. Yeah. Come on, where my fluffies at? Come on, they need some clothes, baby. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. We thank y'all. Thank y'all yeah. so much. This has been uh, such an exciting. Yes, day. thank you guys so much. You guys are amazing. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you to all of our viewers. <laughs> thank you for riding with us. We appreciate you. We love you. We love you. And now I'm tying my damn head back up because the night is over. And now I'm about to go home and take my hair out because my sister doing my hair tomorrow. I don't feel like doing it myself. Yeah. I'm going to go do something boring such as write a paper, but that's fine. Alexia, you're amazing. I admire you so much. Thank you are so truly an inspiration. You Thank you. Don't you start, Kia. Right, don't you start, Kia. You know she might. Yes, yeah, she know. She's about to cry and shit. Kick us off. Where that music at? Let's go. Don't kick me off. On the block, looking like a Can y'all hear it? it? Turn it up a little bit. <laughs> for another Missy, cause this is my Missy Elliott. We're on these right, but we're gonna throw it back. Happy Friday. Peace, love, and hat grease. Wash your hands, wash your face. Be safe, not sorry. Hashtag, you already know. Fuck the <laughs>